Chili here. Tell you rice cream not looking perfect like this. We're gonna figure that out right now. Let's go. If you guys are tired of the soft ice cream business like I am, well, we're gonna fix that today. Um, we're gonna show you how to fix the viscosity settings under Taylor C709. So let's get it going with this right here, okay? So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna hit this button right here. It's gonna ask you to enter an access code. Once you get that code in, you're gonna get access to your uh, all the settings of, for this particular machine. And what you're gonna go to is you're gonna come down here to your viscosity setting. Voila, right here. And you're gonna hit select. And from here, you're gonna see your viscosity settings, okay? The VISC 4.0 amps, this number right here is your currently set setting. And your current setting is if your machine is running, like if I pull the handle, it'll, it'll cycle it. It'll show you what it's running at currently, okay? So if your viscosity is 4.0, in this example, it's not hard enough, what you're gonna do is use the up and down arrows right here to adjust. So you're gonna press up to increase it, which makes your mix harder, or you press down to where you want it to be to make it softer and let it cycle. After you set your viscosity, you wanna make sure to let your um, whole system cycle two or three times before you determine if it's too too soft or it needs more further adjustment, okay? Once you're done, you're gonna hit select and exit the menu. All right, we're gonna do a pull like this just to see if that ice cream is good to go. Look at that peak. All right, well, that's how you adjust your viscosity on your Taylor C709. For more information on the ice cream machines and tech information, check us out at slicingconcessions.com. Hope to see you there.